So since we've made a million trades and we've seen a lot of players go in and out the door here with the Washington Nationals organization, it gives us a lot of these revenge games. And our first one this season being the lane train Lane Thomas getting a shot, his first shot against the Washington Nationals. And also, by the way, Kiba Ruiz is back with the Los Angeles Dodgers as well. But it feels like a big deal. We focused a lot with Lane Thomas on this franchise series. And of course, we had to get rid of him in the trade deadline last year. But here you go. He's going to get a shot at revenge in tonight's episode. We're taking on the Dodgers. It will be Lane's first game back in Washington, D.C. He um, did not hit right-handed pitching for the Dodgers. So it's the third game. In this set, we will be pitching Nestor Cortez. It's him and John Means are our two lefties on our squad. So we'll be pitching Cortez. This is the first game Thomas will be playing in DC since being traded last July. So it's a huge revenge game. Lane Thomas has been with the Nationals since 2021 and he was traded for half a season of John Lester. So it's going to be a fun one. The Dodgers are 27 and 21. The Nationals are 30 and 19. Of course, you know the long rivalry between these two squads. We couldn't get another um, chapter to that rivalry last season, though, as the Dodgers dropped the wild card game to the Miami Marlins. But the last time, these two teams squared off in the playoffs. It was the National League Championship Series two years ago where the Dodgers did get the upper hand, sending the Nationals home in the NLCS and eventually going on to win the World Series against the Detroit Tigers. But since then, the Nationals have won a World Series of their own against the Tigers. So maybe, just maybe, we'll see these two teams squaring off again in the postseason here in 2027. And folks, make sure to follow us on the social security plays by T on both IG and TikTok. And make sure that subscribe button down below as about 68% of you still aren't subscribed. So go hit that subscribe button down below. Let's get a 12K as soon as possible. Nestor Cortez making the start for the Nationals. He's been really good so far for the Nats. 2.7 is the ERA. Here we go. He'll see Michael Bush first, and Bush can hit one in the left field. There is Andy Pies playing against his former team as well. Pies getting the night and left instead of Christian Vaquero. Max Muncy, no, not that Max Muncy. The prospect in real life, Muncy, is going to get popped out to Vladdy Jr. at first. Up to the plate is now Freddie Freeman, still on this Dodgers team. Again, he probably still wants to be in Atlanta, but he's going to ground out to Mookie Betts. It's a 1 2 3 top of the first as we go to the bottom of the first. Up pitching for the Dodgers will be Joe Musgrove. 4.18 is the ERA with a 3 and 2 record. He will see Mookie Betts first on the 3 1 pitch. Betts! Oh, deep left field. That ball's way up and it's way out of here. Mookie Betts with the leadoff home run to kick us off in the bottom of the first. See you later, Mookie Betts. He continues to hit for power. His 10th of the season goes 418 feet. What a shot to kick us off here at Nats Park. Mookie's going to make it 1 0 off the solo home run off of Joe Musgrove. Juan Soto now in the 2 1 pitch, though, going to hit one on the ground to Michael Bush. As we check out the Nationals lineup for tonight, it goes as follows Bet Soto Guerrero, Reyes Smith Cruz, Martin Pajes, and then Guevara batting knife. Now to the plate will be Vladdy Jr. on the 2-2 pitch. Guerrero on the ground is short. There's the shortstop for the Dodgers though. And Bobby Witt Jr. will have two down now in the inning for the four spot, which means Fran Mel Reyes, our DH, will swing through a slider away, but the Nationals get on the board first. Thanks to the solo home run shot by Mookie Betts. Austin Riley going to kick off the top of the second. Nestor Cortez though going to put him away on a circle change down the dirt. As here he is, the lane train's first AB back in DC, and he's going to get popped out to Mookie Betts at second. By the way, Thomas though, batting 350 for the Dodgers. And again, he only does hit left-handed pitching. And Lane's really good against lefties, like 95 contact, I think like 60-something power. And that's something we've always thought. I mean, you just put Lane Thomas against left-handed pitching. He's really good. But then when you think about it, right, you're paying a guy $10 million a year just to hit left-handed pitching. And then again, when he gets down to it, that doesn't happen every single night. And then when there's righties, do you play him? The Dodgers don't play him against righties, so against just left-handed pitching, Lane Thomas has found a way to bat 350, so credit to him, credit to where credit is due, but here in the bottom of the second, the Dodgers will put away the first two, and that's in the order, of course, of Smith and Cruz, and then Martin will strike out, so we go to the top of the third, still 1-0 our score, and there is going to be a pop-out. Batter was the center fielder, and Peyton Bird... Bird... Birdick. Peyton Burdick was the batter. He popped out. Sorry, I was reading that from my card, my lineup card. Uh, two down out of the inning. After that, Bobby Witt fly out in the right. Matthew Barefoot comes up. He will ground out to Austin Martin. Martin at first. Nestor Cortez is shoving here at home against the Dodgers. We go to the bottom of the third. Andy Pahe's up first. Pahe's still batting around 300 coming off the bench, but he does get some of these starting opportunities. Pahe's, though, will strike out. So one down for Eric Guevara. Guevara hitting one softly in the ground to Freddie Freeman. Freeman will tag the bag. We'll have two down now in the inning for Mookie Betts on the 2 2 pitch. Betts went yard in his first debut. They're going to say he went on the slider. Don't love the call, but that'll do it for the bottom of the third. It's still 1 0 Nationals. We go to the top of the fourth. Top the order for the Dodgers. Michael Bush first. Bush going to hit one in the left center field gap. That ball is going to get down. And I almost forgot. Yeah, when this video is going out in real life, I will be at the Dodgers Nationals game. Yeah. I'll be at the game in LA. Well, as long as Soto and Bell are still on the team, like I hope those guys are on the team, because I'm not going to lie, like 
I'm gonna sell the tickets if it's if it's just uh, what Victor Robles. I, I love Luis Garcia, but I'm not. You know, I'm, I'm not going to a game where I'm going to watch Patrick Corbin give up 20 runs and, you know, Luis Garcia and Victor Robles are the top two hitters in the squad and Nelson Cruz might still be there. Big whoop, right? So if Soto and Bell are still on the team, I'll watch again. One in real life slice we're getting traded. I think right now it's going to be the Cardinals, even though if we can make a deal out with the Yankees, I'd love to get the Yankees deal. Again, this video is going out on Tuesday, so maybe by Tuesday, Juan's already in San Diego or something. But I'm hoping if we can work out a deal because... It sucks, but I'm in favor of trading Soto. If he's not going to resign, there's no point in keeping him around. We're not going to be contending for the next two years. We're honestly not going to be contending until Elijah Green and Christian McQuarrie are on the team and Brady House. So we might as well trade one now, get most, get the most value out of him. Hell, do the Cardinals deal. Carlson, Wynn, Gorman. If you can get all three of those guys, or the Yankees, I'd prefer the Yankees, honestly, though. I mean, if you can get Jason Dominguez, Volpe, you can get Gill, you can get all those guys. I'd rather them go with the Yankees deal, but I don't know if they can work it out. The Yankees apparently just sent their last offer as of Saturday. So I don't know, but Nestor Cortez doing really well here in the top of the fifth. We go to the bottom of the fifth, still one nothing. Cortez is putting down Dodgers in order. Will Smith, however, is going to fly on the right field to kick off the bottom of the fifth. Now for the Nationals, it will be O'Neill Cruz. Again, we're still hanging on this one nothing lead. Not much offense being produced in this game as there goes Bobby Witt to first to Freddie Freeman on Cruz's ground out. Austin Martin now comes up in the 1-1. One -one. Perfect, perfect in the right center field. That ball no, will not get down. Oh my goodness. Austin Martin with the perfect, perfect out. Not ideal, but we go to the top of the sixth. There's going to be a well hit ball. Deep right field. Matthew Barefoot's the hitter. One Soto back to the track. Oh, he's going to make the grab. What a play by the chosen one. One down in the inning for Michael Bush in the 2 1 pitch. Okay, one can't get to that one. Bush down the right field line. It will be extra bases. He will be standing on second with one out for the DH and Max Muncy. It's a one-two pitch. Cortez will deal right center field. The Dodgers have now tied this game up in the top of the sixth. Max Muncy splits the gap into right center. It is one to one with Freddie Freeman out the dish on the full count he walks. First and second one out. You got to think about maybe pulling Cortez. First, Austin Riley hits one to right. Soto trying to get there. It gets down. The Dodgers have might just taken the lead here in the top of the sixth. They'll send the runner here, Max Muncy, to the plate. He is in there. It is 2-1 Dodgers here in the top of the sixth. Lane Thomas now gets a shot. He'll strike out, though. Down goes Lane on the circle change down and in. Key Bear Ruiz down the one-two. Strike three again. Okay, Cortez sits down, Ruiz and Tom is back to back, but unfortunately our bats just can't get going. Andy Pies will strike out, Eric Guevara now gonna hit one very softly into left field. That one will be caught by the lane train, Lane Thomas. Two down for Mookie Betts, it'll be a 2-1 offering. He'll hit one hard in the ground to right to second base and straight to Michael Bush. So a 1-2-3 bottom of the sixth for Joe Musgrove. We go to the top of the seventh, TJ Antone pitching now for the Nationals. ERA of 1.09. Antone has been elite so far out of the bullpen this season. He's been a really good pickup that we got in that Miguel Sano trade a couple seasons ago. He'll strike out Peyton Burdick right there on that slur of away. Now Bobby Whip comes up and it just as I praise TJ Antone about how elite he's been out the bullpen, about how untouchable he's been out the bullpen. Bobby Witt Jr. batting 223, hits his sixth home run of the season, deep left into the Dodgers bullpen, 384 feet for him. It is his sixth again of the season. My goodness. Matthew Barefoot now in the one, two is gonna strike out on a slurve. So again, still a two run game. It would just be nice if we get the bats going. There's some games where our bats are on fire. Like the last game is the Rockies. So the title of the video was the bats are back. This one, though, struggling to piece together hits as Max Muncy's going to strike out there and Tone gets him on the slurp. So we go to the bottom of the seventh. Juan Soto up first in the 1-1 one, one pitch. He will hit an outside fastball into center field. That ball is going to hang up definitely up there for Peyton Burdick. It will be one down the inning for Vladdy Jr. on the 1-1. One, one. Guerrero gets one back. No doubt or deep into left field. You can kiss that one goodbye and burn the board. Yes. Vladimir Guerrero gets the Nationals within one run here in the bottom of the seventh. Huge shot for him in his 16th of the year. 419 feet for Guerrero. And now we are just one swing of the bat from tying this game up. Again, we live and die with a long ball. And Guerrero hits the national second home run in the ball game. Of course, the first coming with the first AB of the day for Mookie Betts. Framil Reyes, though, now with one out. Gonna hit a double against the shift right down the first baseline. Framil Reyes will be standing on first now, and that will do it for Musgrove. End of the game is Julie Merriweather. And if the Dodgers struggle in any one area, it is their bullpen. Their highest overall in the bullpen is a 79 overall, Andres Munoz. Merriweather's going to hit Will Smith, bringing O'Neill Cruz up, and Cruz is going to get popped down to fastball. It'll be the shortstop over there, and Bobby Witt Jr., so the inning will now come down to Austin Martin on the 1-2 pitch. He had a perfect, perfect his last save. This time he strikes out a circle change. 
So Merriweather does a great job limiting the damage as we go to the top of the eighth. Camilo Doval now pitching for the Nationals. You're at 5.79 so far in the season. It's been a step down since his previous years. But we'll see what he'll offer against this Dodgers lineup. Well, he'll get Freddie Freeman to fly out in the left to Andy Pies. Pies is going to make a jumping grab. One down now for the former Brave and Austin Riley. Going to hit one past the shift. It'll get by Mookie. Riley's on with a one-out single. Making way now for Lane Thomas. The lane train's 0 for 3. The lane train is now 1 for 4. He picks up a clutch hit in the right field. They'll send the runner to third. We got to get him right here. No, we're not. Freddie's safe. They're on the corners now for Kiba Ruiz. Ruiz in the ground. Mookie Betts got to hurry up. Ruiz still slow. Yeah, to Martin De Guerrero will put him away. Kiba Ruiz still with this 26 speed. Let's go to the bottom of the eighth. Andy Pies, they're going to strike out yet again. Eric Guevara comes up in the 1-1. By the way, Tyler Duffy pitching for the Dodgers. And there you go. Eric Guevara with a nice single right there. It's the fourth hit of the game for the Nationals. Bringing the top of the order up. Mookie Betts comes up first. Hits a knuckle curve in the right. Ball does not have the carry, though. It's going to be caught out there by Matthew Barefoot. So the inning will come down to Juan Soto. It's a full count. Guevara's running. Juan gets a fastball right down the middle. And, and we miss it. We, we miss it. That sucks. To the top of the ninth, Jordan Hicks trying to keep the score at 3-2. His ERA is 4.19 so far in the season. Over 20 games and 19 and one-thirds pitched. He'll see Peyton Burdick first. And Burdick going to hit one in to right center. Guevara going to wave off one. One down down the inning for the eight-hole spot, which means Bobby Witt Jr. And Witt on the 3-2 is going to barely place one to center field. He's already got a home run earlier in this game. He came in this game, by the way, batting 225. But now Witt's got yet another hit in the center field. Matthew Barefoot now comes up in the 3-2. That ball's hit in the right field. It gets past Juan Soto. And it looks like the Dodgers are going to make this 4-2. Here comes the relay. Throw Mookie Betts to the plate. Oh, we might get him here. No, no, we didn't. 4-2 is now the score. The Dodgers extend their lead. Michael Bush now comes up on the 1-1. He will get popped on an inside cutter, breaking in on the hands. Thanks to Jordan Hicks, they will not send the runner from second to third. So still in second for Max Muncy. And on the 1-2, Muncy strikes out. But the Nationals are down by two, heading into the bottom of the ninth. It will come down to Andres Munoz, the former National, coming out for the save. He's got 16 on the season, ERA of 2.7. And he'll see Vladdy Jr. first in the 3-2. Guerrero turns on a fastball on the left. Right to him. Oh my goodness, that's annoying. Super annoying. We're going to get lucky right there. That's a ball. So Fran Ram will be on first. Tying right in the box. It's Will Smith. Did he get a hold of the fastball? Deep left field. Going back on it is Lane Thomas. The Lane train will make the catch. So Fran Ram goes back to first for O'Neill. Cruz can Cruz keep the game alive. Just short. That ball's dove on by Bobby Witt. Everyone's going to be safe though. So winning run now to the plate. It's Austin Martin on the three one. Martin to right. That ball's going to get through. It should score a run. We'll send O'Neill Cruz to third. They'll be on the corners. It's a one run game with two outs. And now Justin Brule now comes in to pitch for the Dodgers. ERA is about six. What will our pinch hitter and Paul Goldschmidt do? I'd rather go Goldschmidt than Pajes in this situation. I know the average don't look at it, but let's see if Goldschmidt can get the job done. Okay, we should let Pajes hit. Goldschmidt's going to get popped into right field. That one is going to be caught by Matthew Barefoot, and the Los Angeles Dodgers are going to go on the road. They're going to win the series finale 4-3 in Lane Thomas's official return to Nats Park. The Dodgers are going to win this one again by a score of 4-3. They'll win it by one run, improving their regular season record now to 28-21. And as for the Washington Nationals, they now fall to a record of 30 and 20. Ten hits on the day for the Dodgers, six for the Nationals, and again, Washington just comes up a little bit short in this one here at home. So folks, thank you for watching episode number 117 of the Washington Nationals franchise mode here on MLB 22 The Show. If you haven't not yet though, make sure that subscribe button down below for more. Thank you for watching folks, and Mava forever.